Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sim City. Um, I probably should have ch checked if anyone was in the stream, but I don't think they are. If they are, they're not chatting. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we recently, in the last episode, we connected power. Uh, now your power. Yeah, you can see it traveling down the roads. Brilliant. So let's continue on. Hopefully, I think this video is going to go up at the same time as the um, last one. It depends how much I can record, actually. Uh, new free terabyte hard drive. Okay, apparently Mass Effect 3 is just installed. I got it free with this game. That's actually quite nice of them. Uh, cities without power will stop working and your sims will abandon them. So remember to plot a power plant or buy power from a neighboring region. We're no longer in the dark, but now Eva's worried about crime. You should check with her. But I'm worried about the bloody budget. I know we've got plenty of money, but for Christ's sake, we're still losing money. I need to zone more. I need to spend what we've got to build roads to zone more. I don't need to be spending more on city things. Uh, Mayor, I'm up to my neck in complaints and calls. We have to. We had to close the police station to save money. Uh, most people have been on their best behaviour, but we've seen a recent up take in crime. Uh, if you ask me, it, I think they're coming from Lucky Shores, but it's impolite to speculate. Best to open the police station. Okay, I guess you're gonna move me to it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the old police station, it's just closed to save a few simoleons. Click on the police station and press the power button. Okay, yep, yeah, it's open. Uh, good thing you got the police station working. There's a crime in progress right now. These criminals are up to no good. I know it's to sort of save on resources and stuff, but why is it so bloody... Uneducated and unemployed sims may turn to a life of crime. Uh, the start simple shoplifting and left unchecked will develop into some terrible crime. Get those crooks. Police respond uh, to crimes in progress and patrol the neighborhood around the station to keep an eye out for criminals. Hey, what's that smell? Eva has an idea. Head to the town hall. Oh, Mayor, the town stinks. It's all the garbage. We've been relying on Lucky Shores to provide garbage collections and it has been a while since it's been collected. I gave Mayor Kino over there a call and I think I convinced him to send some trucks over. Uh, we don't have full coverage, but occasional garbage trucks should help you... Should You should check to see yo, that the trucks are coming in. Okay? Here it comes. Neighbouring cities can share services and coverage for city services like fire, health, crime and garbage. Select the truck. Uh, ew, it's kind of stinky. Anyway, you can follow the vehicle or sims to where they go. Just click the follow button. Okay. We're fortunate that Lucky Shorts has provided us with one of their garbage trucks. Click the garbage button. Here you can see Lucky Shores is providing... Wait, where, where can I see? Shores provides our garbage coverage. Cities can make a bonus income by providing uh, services for other cities in their region. Where does it say? Oh, covered by, yes. Okay. Uh, we don't need our own garbage dump thanks to Lucky Shores. Help. Every morning once one of their garbage trucks will show up and take away our garbage. There still seems to be a foul stench in the air. You should check with Eva. What the hell is she doing? Oh, and I never started the timer again, so again, this should be a like, slightly longer episode than normal. <laughs> Sorry, it's been ages since I've recorded. I'm actually re enjoying recording again. Uh, but yeah, it's been ages since I've recorded, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Uh, you should check in with Eva. I think I put all the tutorial videos up at once, and maybe one of the ones where I'm um, actually starting. Maya, I don't think that stink came only from the garbage. We have another smelly problem ruining right under our roads. Sewerage is just pooling in the pipes under there, in the roads. If it doesn't have somewhere to go, it will start backing up the pipes into people's backyards. That's not good. Uh, we need a sewerage outflow pipe. It's not the cleanest solution. Uh, but we need that sewerage to go somewhere. Let's build a sewerage outflow pipe. Yeah, let's go to the poop thing. 
uh, eel, you can see that the waste just flowing around, actually... Oh, there you are, can you? Uh, select the sewage outlet pipe, okay. Uh, this basically dumps the sewage out into a steaming pile, so it's best to place it somewhere remote and out of town. I think that's far enough away that people aren't going to get um, completely annoyed at me. Uh, looks at it all go. Ever, every system has a data map that shows graphically you information about your city. Let's see what impact it's having on your behaviour. Oh, so that's producing a hell of a lot. No, ah, uh, PPM. Parts per million? And then, of course, we close that. Pol oh, pollution, yes. Clean and heavy pollution. Yeah, heavy pollution. Let's close that down then. Oh, it looks like um, you're needed, Mayor. Click the speech bubble. Oh, crap. Something's going to burn down. Help! There's smoke coming from my neighbor's house. Well, go put it out. I think it's on fire. We need a fire station. You know, if we start building the fire station just as we see <laughs> there's a fire, it's probably too late. Uh, we need to put this fire out before it spreads. We need a fire station. Quick! Click the fire menu button. Uh, click the fire station button. And um, there looks good to me. That's a good spot. As soon as your fire station is started up, uh, fighters will hop in a truck and rush to put out that fire. Click OK once you're done watching. I don't need to watch. Industry aban industrial abandoned or rubbled buildings and accumulated garbage increases the risk of fire. The fire station puts your fires out, but avoid the causes of the fire makes them more effective. Seems there are less protesters, but some of them are shouting about schools. Better talk to either. I don't have the money. We're losing more money than I think when we started. A great job with the fire mayor. I've got a new problem that I think you can solve. Uh, some of our parents are concerned that our schools are overcrowded. Uh, we can teach all the kids without more classrooms. We can't teach even. I would just cram them in more, but I guess I'm not allowed to do that. Um, if we don't educate our residents, our local industry will stay in the dark ages. Let's teach these kids. Okay, so take me to the school. Uh, the town's grade school doesn't have enough classrooms. Schools can help your kids grow up to be safe, law-abiding sims. Uh, click on the grade school. Uh, you can use modules to improve your buildings. These are useful for increasing capacity improving response times and, well, increasing efficiency and more. Uh, click on the edit mode. Edit mode. Uh, this classroom will add some capacity to your school. If required, more staff, but uh, more jobs are great. Uh, click on the classroom. Uh, you'll need to plop this classroom right next to the school. That's fine. Uh, do I need another one? Oh, I was hoping to put a top story one on as well. You know, Extend that up there, but I guess not. Uh, let's. Oh. Education level, tech level. That's something I haven't noticed before. I want to play with it, but I'm in a tutorial. Uh, kids live in each of us. Kids living in each of us houses can go to grade schools for primary education. Or in each house. Uh, but be sure that the schools have enough capacity to handle all the students in your city. What about the bus stops? Uh, all your sims have their own homes. Uh, they go to work, they try to make themselves happy. Uh, you can click on any sim to see what they're doing. Uh, let's see, walking to mum and dad's. Uh, come to the community park. Anyway, let's click OK. The park's like really empty. Uh, your improvements have really turned this town around. Let's have a look at how everyone is... Um, like all systems, government has its own set of data maps. Uh, the happiness cam map can show how happy your residents are throughout the city. Click on the happiness map. I thought it was already on it. Oh no! Cool! 
Uh, whoa, now that's perfect, but certainly mu not perfect, sorry, uh, but certainly much better than before. Sims are happier now that you have provided basic utilities and services, okay? Happy Sims will stay in your city, work and pay taxes, medium and high wealth Sims will leave your city if they're unhappy. Let's close the happiness map for now. Uh, our men on menus throughout SimCity, you'll see these information icons, okay? Oh, I didn't mean to actually... Uh, these information bubbles provide help with menus to find them. If you're stuck yourself, check on one of these, okay? See hall, taxes, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, looks like most of the protesters have disappeared now. Eva's got a favour to ask, and it's airport related. Lucky Shores has been good for Summer Shoals. Many of our workers commute there and to work in Lucky Shoals' casinos. Lucky Shoals is quite a bustling gambling city. You should go there and check out... Yo, our workers are commuting. Where our workers commute? Okay. So let me guess, region. Uh, first, let's have a look at how many workers you have commuted to Lucky Shores. Let's click to the region view. Let's click on the people. Uh, there are data maps in the region two. Uh, let's click on the low wealth sims. Uh, the large arrow shows the directions of commuting workers and travelling to Lucky Shores. Yeah, our, our total low wealth workers are all going over there. It looks like we have lots of people not working. That's open. Our open jobs. Yeah, we need, we have too many jobs, Christ's sake. Uh, the large arrow shows the direction of commuting, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's go check out Lucky Shoals and see what Mayor Kino has done in this city. Again, I'm thinking that's loud. That's not going up again, no. Wait, why is music volume higher than sound effects one? That sounds a bit better, so yeah, we click on the city. Needs simoleons. And uh, let's click visit. Global stats. Zero cities founded. Yeah, because you haven't let me yet. That's not Lucky Shoals' picture. That's Lucky Shoals. This isn't. Nice city, huh? Lucky Shoals is a tourist hotspot. There's a strip of casinos along the cliff, high rise hotels, and loads of mass transit. Let's take a look around. Mayor Kino has made Lucky Shores a gambling city. Specialised cities can focus on improving the cities to help the region. Let's click OK. Any mayor can elect to specialise to improve both their city and help the region. Let's have a look at Lucky Shores. Uh, click OK when you're ready to move on. There's not a... What the hell? Oh. Uh, we better talk to you. Wait, what's that in the sky? Yeah. That's a disaster. And I can't do out to help. Yay, blowing up. Rubble, cause, disaster. Okay, that's happened now. Can we move on to the next bit, please? Please. Oh, no, no, wait. Still one more. Ho, <laughs> ho, Is it just me? It was a perfect shot at the bottom of the building. Are we, are we done now? Oh, no. We better get out of here. Let's click the exit spectator mode button. Oh, that's nice. They have, you know, they've been helping us. They have something that goes wrong. And, and we just run away. That's, that is freaking lovely. Phew, that was close. You should talk to Eva. Uh, click on the speech bubble. Okay. Whoa, that's terrible news about Lucky Shores, Mayor. I hope that wasn't too much danger. I sent a fire truck over there. Oh, yes. So we did help. Uh, we've done a remarkable job of revenueing some of Shores. It's great that you around, but I think I can take it from here. You should go start a fresh region, build your own cities from scratch. Okay, you're going to fix this deficit problem. 
Well done, you completed the getting started scenario and made Summer Shores a happy place. Uh, good to live. Now it's time to move and start a new city. Good luck! Yes, yeah, better with friends, but it's new origin accounts. So I don't even have anyone in here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm. I think I'm going to play in a private region to start with. Although, I, I wouldn't. I would quite like the um, idea of you know inviting some of you guys into play. Um, once we've got it all set up, uh, we don't want to join a region. I want to create a game. Um, I'll pick a big one. I'll probably reserve a little corner for myself. Uh, but, yeah, I would really, really, really like... Okay, where's the city spots? I thought they were supposed to show me on this map. Um, yeah, I thought there was supposed to be like little blobs that showed me where it was. Hmm, that one looks... This has lots of open space, which is probably going to be good for me starting, because I don't really know what I'm doing. But that looks cool with all the water. And, yeah, 16 and 4. 2 and 1. Whoa! Another 16 and 4. Actually, I think I'm going to go for that one, because that looks like a good mix of all of them. Victoria Woods. 7 and 1. One great works, so and all seven cities to work on it? No. Five and one, three and one. No, yeah, let's go to Victoria Woods. Heavily wooded region, features lush green forests. Uh, yes, good, good, good. And it looks like there's you know, one group of them here, one group of them there, there, and there, because you have to be connected by the roads for a lot of things to work. Uh, let's click next. Region name. House. Doom. Uh, no, it's going to be a private region. Um, leave in the comments if you'd like to join. Obviously, we're not going to go sandbox mode. See, this is what I expected to see on that first screen. Uh, you don't have road? You have... Oh, no, wait, yeah. Yellow's road. I, for some reason, I was thinking um, white was road and yellow was rail. Uh, so you have a road, but you don't have rail. I'm thinking maybe somewhere like that. Um, that wouldn't be a bad starting place. Let's have a flick round. I want something with lots of resources. Yep. Lots of all of them, if possible. Uh, you don't have any oil. So it's the first three I'm looking at, isn't it? Yeah, coal or an oil. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this episode. So in the next one, we'll actually claim our region. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get all three of these resources in one place. I don't know. That's actually not bad. You know, it's not highest on all of them, but it'd be enough to get started, I think. And, you know, let me mess around with all them special special specialities. I think that's even better. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to be building our first mount. It's not going to be called that for long. But anyway, ladies and gents, that's all we... Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, but unfortunately, I am going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.